OK, our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. No rain expected, no rain expected for the time being. All right, guys, long race, careful, turn one, keeping, keep stalking to a minimum, and good luck, have fun. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Bonne chance, mes amis. Hey, bonne chance. Merci, merci. Oh, man. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. The virtual safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track.
safety car is way too slow. Okay, Hamilton. I was gonna say easy there, Lewis. Should I tell your engineer that your tires are wet? Oh no, I have no tires, no fuel, no grip. My car is actually a bunch of rocks that I have to slap my feet against the ground in order to drive with. Pulled by a large purple dinosaur. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Gap to car in front is 2.0 seconds. The stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online.
tried to stay with him, he might make a mistake. He could still regain the position. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Okay, you're in the top ten. Okay, gap ahead is 1.5 seconds. Receive that, repeat the message. You're starting to drop back from the car in front by two seconds a lap. Our gap to the car in front is 2.7 seconds. Green flag, green flag, we're racing again.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs. gap to the car ahead is 6.7 seconds. lap, in this lap, push now. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Go now. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy.
Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Pick up ah, the hello, pace Rafa. Time, please, we need to close to ten car lengths of the car ahead. Nice race. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got me. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. Okay, clear. Are you all right? Engine off, engine off. Oh my God, what is happening? Uh, yeah, I pushed, I pushed too hard guys. trying to get past Mr. Businessman, and I uh, spun out into turn five. Oh no, Kirby. Sorry, my friend. Ah, uh, no problem. Ah, uh. oh, fuck you, double <laughs> stuck, man. <laughs> I apologize, Shit. man. No, no problem. Oh, Pete. <laughs> It's bad luck, man.
All right, so with 15 laps left to go, the Canadian Grand Prix, there are 10 racers remaining. Nick the Quick leads to Curry. Mr. Businessman finds himself in a third place, but he has been going for a long time on these tires. Let's have a look. Yeah, 17 lap old mediums. He's really going to be a cork in the ball here for all the people following, so that's going to be Cub, Camborn, Mega Man, Pabino, Cuthbert, Diego, and Rafa. Safety car going around for one further lap. So right now, everyone except Rafa is on the mediums, save for Nick the Quick, who is on hards, which he is likely going to be taking right to the end here. Unless something goes very, very differently, or we get a late safety car. In which case, he would hate to be stuck in front of people on those tires. So final lap before the safety car comes in, and Nick is leading everyone. Uh, but the interesting place to be is going to be third place, where Mr. Businessman is very high up and on very old tires. Those mediums are not going to want to go much longer than this. Aston Martin safety car leaving the Aston Martin itself. It's looking like a good day for Aston, Mega Man running P6 currently. Nick the Quick in first. And there we have it, safety car in this lap confirmed from race control. Oh dear, was that a... Oh, I think that's one of those moments where the person in front gets penalized for the actions of the person behind. But it doesn't look like there's any damage on Rafa. Alright, and here's the restart. Nick holds it, and he takes it away. Mr. Businessman? Oh, he's got Cub right on his back. Cub swings out to the left. Coming alongside, and he's through into P3. That puts him a little bit out. Is Camborn now going to try and make a move around the outside? He doesn't get in into turn one or two. Enough to consent himself to following. He's going around the outside. This is risky. Is he going to dive? No, he's not. He takes a compromise line, and this might allow Mega Man to make a move here. This is just trouble brewing up ahead, but right now, every moment they're falling behind further and further. Cam making a move up the inside, and he takes fourth place. You have to wonder, how much longer can Mr. Businessman keep these tires going? Oh, that's a moment there! And that allows Mega Man through. Now Bobino making his way, but he's got Cuthbert right behind him. Dives up the inside. And Bobino is through into 6th place. Mr. Businessman just down 4 positions in 1 lap off these old tires. You can really see... Oh! Bit of a moment there for Diego as he tries to make something happen. And now, Cuthbert is going to try to take advantage on the Alpine. Cuthbert up the inside. But Diego fighting back. He's got the outside line. Who's going to break first? And Diego is able, able to hold it. Cuthbert is holding ninth. Rafa, P10. Mr. Businessman is still holding P7. This is the duel to watch right now. And we're seeing the cars starting to spread out just a little bit. Oh, we've got a yellow, and that's Rafa, who has spun. Does he have any damage? So that's going to drop him back. Now Diego is catching up to the back of Mr. Businessman. Has to play it careful. Picks up a time penalty there. Diego's not going to be happy about that. The move, I would think, is to just make the overtake, follow nice and close through the hairpin, and get the move out on the straight. Here we go. Business moves a bit wide. Power down for both of them. Diego's got a good launch, and this should be it. But Cuthbert is also right behind, and we're going to get a big double toe here for Cuthbert. 
Gonna see if he can make anything happen here. Diego up the inside, Mr. Businessman backs off, and Diego secures piece of Oh, Mr. Businessman! Into the wall, damage to his front wing, but he keeps his car intact. Rafa, looks like he is still in one piece. And won't he be glad of that? But let's move up to the front, because we've got a three-way battle between Nick the Quick, Sukuri, and Cub. Nick, of course, on these hards, he's going to be running clear to the end. And for that matter, I think pretty much everyone else will also be able to take mediums to the end. It's mostly Rafa who's going to have issues with his current tire setup. Here we go, Cub's got to run! Up the inside. Nope, no move there. But that's a purple sector drop for Cub here. He is pacey, very pacey right now. The DRS is open, but Sukuri has the same. Rafa is through on Mr. Businessman. And with a double DRS, there's going to be no overtake here. But they're going to be staying very, very close to the back of Nick V. Quick. Oh, that's a bit of a moment for Sukuri. But he's able to hold it together. Meanwhile, Cuthbert continues to fall Diego closely. Sukuri picking up some time penalties. This is going to be costly for him. Often he's right near the front, but has these time penalties, and they really, really can bite you in the end of the race. Also in the end. Diros open for both of these front runners. And Mr. Businessman repairing. He can just finish up this race, pick up a, a nice point. Good way to start off your AFR career. Nick the Quick leading Sakuri, Sakuri leading Cub. And Mr. Businessman is out on mediums that he will take to the end. He could probably gotten away with softs, but perhaps he was out. Sakuri very, very close in on Nick the Quick here. Is he going to make a move here? Here he goes! Up the side, and around. He's got the inside line, he has to take a bit slow, and this will allow Nick the Quick to try and take the line back. But it looks like he's not going to be able to do it, and Sakuri is able to take first place. However, he is going to be dealing with a big old heap of penalties. So that's six seconds of penalty Sakuri is going to need to deal with here. And now, Nick is pursued by Cub. The one benefit is that Nick the Quick's tires are still going to be alive at the end of the race, but if he's not right with these guys, it's not going to be in very much. Cub now absolutely needs to get past Nick, because that is his path to victory. Get past Nick, stay close to Sakuri, win the race. I'm sure Cub knows exactly that, and Nick, of course, is going to want to get ahead of Sakuri, because if he can hold off Cub, then that's a victory for him. But he's falling back, he's 7 tenths back already, and here we go, up the inside, side by side, Cub through, Nick has to back off, knows this isn't his fight. He's still building a gap to Mega Man, there's still a definite second or podium on the books here for Nick the Quick. Mega Man, meanwhile, pursuing, and Cam a short ways behind. Elsewhere, things are starting to clear up, but really, the battle remains over the top three. and Cub is the one to watch right now. Meanwhile, Rafa is slowly hauling his way back in towards the, the, uh, the end of this group here. He's going to be making some moves late on in the race. Cub really just has to uh, hold on to his position right now, but we know that he he's a smart racer, but he's also an aggressive racer. Oh, if he gets an opportunity, you know he's going to seize it. DRS is going to be opening, and this time, Sakuri does not have any drag reduction system to help him. Cub is getting close here, very, very close. He's two tenths off, but he's not going to throw it up this side. Not just now. There will be more opportunities for that. He's just going to stay within this range. Incidentally, Nick the Quick has been dropped out of DRS ranges and is rapidly falling towards Mega Man.
Diego right now, running P7, but he's got a big ol' heap of penalties, although he might be able to get a few of those removed due to the uh, safety card collision with Rafa. So here we have it, Cub in pursuit of Sakuri. It looks like Sakuri is able to pull away during the twisting sections, but if Cub can remain within DRS range, things are going to be looking good. Mega Man now catching up to the back of Nick the Quick. And Nick is definitely showing that these hard tires do not have the base of the mediums. Since we all know just how good Nick the Quick is. But right now he's just getting hauled in by everyone around him. Mega Man with the DRS, here we go. He's got a big run here. There's going to be no defense from Nick the Quick. Oh, but up ahead, Cub dives up the inside of Sakuri. Just coming into the final corner, it's a nice straightforward DRS pass that he's been saving up for. And with plenty of ERS left, that is Cub in the lead. Mega Man, fastest lap meanwhile, as he has taken this lap to get past his teammate. And he's now right on the back of Sakuri, and Mega Man is now potentially a challenger. Oh, a little bit of a moment there. So proceeding through, we have Cub leading Sukuri and Mega Man, Nick the Quick and Camborn. Now a little gap back to Bobino, who's running nicely in a very secure P6. Diego in a very insecure P7 because he has a large heap of penalties hanging over his head, and Rafa has closed into that gap. Cuthbert is chasing in P8, and then Rafa and Mr. Businessman is running 30 seconds off, but still in the points. Cub leading now, and he's pulled out of DRS range within one lap. Sakuri, spending what he can, but he doesn't... Oh, he looks like he does actually have DRS open for this one lap. It allows him to close in a little bit. But will he be close enough to get DRS a second time? Is it a single detection point? I do believe it is. But now, the boot is on the other foot. Sakuri is going to have to deal with Cub's dirty air. And it's going to be a tall ask for him to hold on to this position. Now, right now, with six seconds of penalties, we can look back, and that's going to drop him all the way down to fifth place, just ahead of Bobino. So right now, the move for Sakuri is just to time trial. Uh, build up as much of a gap as he possibly can. It looks like he's dropping Mega Man a bit. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Meanwhile, Rafa is slowly pulling in towards the back of Cuthbert, but it doesn't look like he's catching quite fast enough to challenge any of the guys higher up in the points. So Cub over Sakuri, leading the Mega Man, and Nick the Quick in pursuit. Camborn is the next person who is potentially going to bring Nick under, uh, under threat. This is going to be seeing what uh, what he can do. It's looking like we're going to have double points for Alpha Tori today if everyone is able to keep their cars on track. Fastest lap as Cub seizes it with a 111.577, taking the fastest lap away from Mega Man, who got it on the lap he got through on Nick the Quick. Ooh, and that's a three second time penalty, so that puts Cam up to six seconds, and that's important because this is actually going to stop him from being able to grab Sakuri's position. This is increasingly securing fourth place for Sakuri after time penalties. Nonetheless, he still might be able to get through on Nick, and if he can close in a little bit, then that'll be all it takes. Nonetheless, we know, if we take a moment to have a peek at the penalties, and at the tires, I should say, the mediums are all coming towards the end of their preferred lifespans. The hards are still going to be going strong, but this is only going to be a relative advantage for a brief while here. So all the cars are spreading out now, but everyone remains on the lead lap in part due to three safety cars from three retirements. Narket, Kenny LaFleur, and Chaos, myself, shamefacedly, uh, I could have had ninth, maybe even eighth, how long? Well. 
so it goes in the world of racing. Mega Man is closing a little bit onto the back of Sakuri here. But he's already pretty much guaranteed a promotion once Sakuri's time penalty is applied. So Diego, I'd say that he's going to want to have a six second gap to the car behind. That's the key number for him. Because he'll probably be able to uh, protest the five second penalty since the person in front should not be penalized for a safety car collision. Saying this is someone who is not an AAFR steward, just an opinionated guy. Nick falling off of his teammate a little bit, but Cam isn't really able to close up very much at all. Nonetheless, all the top nine are still separated by only 23 and a half seconds. Mega Man chasing down Sakuri. And while this might not be changing the order on the podium, this is going to be some potential entertainment and if he can get himself into DRS range, which he is in right now, he might be able to snatch back fastest lap from Cub, who no longer has the benefit of DRS. Lap 33 of 35 here in Montreal. And we have Cub leading comfortably by 2.7 seconds over Mega Man. Sakuri is a, kind of a dead podium walking right now with a six second time penalty hanging over his head which will currently drop him down to 4th position. Mega Man pulling right in behind Sakuri here, and Sakuri's going to come under real threat in the last little bit. But Mega Man doesn't really need to push it. He's secure in his position right now. He can just bring it home, and he will still be second. And a double podium would be a very fine result for Aston Martin today. So keep in mind, of this group, Sakuri is the one with the oldest tires. Just three laps older, but that is going to be a meaningful difference here, as he's going to be on 18 lap old softs on the final lap here. And that's really going to be a bit of a window for Mega Man to try and take advantage. Mega Man has a lot more ERS, and I think he's going to try and make a move on Sakuri as they come around through the hairpin, past the fans, and here we go, Cubs speeding away into the distance. And we have got full deploy from Mega Man as he is right behind Sakuri. Sakuri goes a little bit wide. Mega Man peeks up the inside. And he is through comfortably. Sakuri is now just going to be time trialing to hold his position as we enter this, the final lap. Cub has started it. Now Sakuri's on it as well. Followed again by Nick the Quick. Cambor. Babina making his way across the grid right now. And he is pursued in turn by Diego Cuthbert, who is slipping behind Diego a little bit and might actually be into a spot where Diego might be able to hold his position as Rafa is also slipping behind here. And Mr. Businessman, who remains on the lead lap. So here's our race leader. Cub driving for Red Bull, putting in a fine result today. Nick the Quick not able to really capitalize on those hearts as he comes around. These would have lasted a couple laps longer, but the mediums had everything that they needed to make it to the finish here today. But it looks like he's still going to be able to hold off Cam, especially with Cam's penalties. And Babino, in fact, looks like he might be promoted up to P5 once the time penalties are applied to Camborn. We come here, over the finish line, it's Cub, Mega Man, and Nick the Quick making his way across, and he is third. Sakuri takes fourth, Camborn, fifth for the moment, but Babino coming through to displace him, and Babino, P5. Diego, P7 for the moment, we're gonna see if Cuthbert has been able to keep it close enough, although this could very much be changed during Stewart's review. Cuthbert comes across, P8, and Rafa with the style points, violently smashing his car into the pit lane wall 
at the finish. There goes his tire off into the distance, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the AAFR Season 1 Canadian Grand Prix. Style points from Rafa. What a race. Nice That's win, crazy. Cub. Nice win, Cub. Good race. Good race. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. Double podium. Nicely done. Driver of the day. Wow. First time ever, I think. What, what have you done for that? Nothing. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, last. I feel like Canada's one of my good tracks, but uh, got impatient today. This was an interesting situation with the safety cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I basically, when I did my pit under the first safety car, I came up right behind Mr. Businessman. And I was like, oh no, I need to get past him right away. So I was too aggressive on the first lap after the safety car and then spun out in Sector 2 and broke my wheel. And that was all she wrote for me. <laughs> I did some commentary for the last 15 laps of the race, so, you know, it's not entirely wasted. Oh, thank, thank you for doing that. It's, a, it's the best way for me to stop crying. <laughs> Cub, you fast! I did this entire race on two warnings. Bro, like lap 5, I got two warnings already. <laughs> 